posterity here. Does anyone want to start with Spider-Man today? Maybe someone in the back row didn't get picked on yesterday. Someone from the back row want to pick Spider-Man? Because it was the easiest question. Starts first. The easiest question. All right. You're not in the back row, but that's fine. All right. All right. Um, Troy. Uh, so do you the first step, please. Go ahead. Negative three plus negative five equals um, negative eight. Good. You can stop right there. To your left, please. All right, sorry, Chastity. Um, what do we do now? Negative, what's the next step that we do here? Good. Now, if you want to, this is an optional step. If, you're, if you can do that you're, you're in your head, no problem. Um, but I would just change that to eight, and that's, that's what I would do. Okay, you don't have to, right? But that's work for this turn to be zero. So zero plus negative nine. These questions of eight. Nathan, what's zero plus negative nine? Uh, it's negative nine. Okay, before I start today's lesson, I should another thing I have to remind you. At 11.30, we're going to uh, the lobby of their textbooks today. 11.30, their textbooks. So we get three quarters of the lesson. Uh, what else do I want to say? So there's no questions from last night's work. You guys understood most of it? Even the patterning stuff? The patterning was fine too? All right, here we go. Here's today's lesson. So you're going to go to your table of contents, of course. Yeah. Uh, today's lesson is going to be fractions. Yeah, we should do that. Actually. So if you remember from yesterday, I'm going to borrow yours right here, if you don't mind. Okay. okay, so if you remember from yesterday, you should put it into here, please. Okay, so uh, September 5th is that. Fractions by title and probably page two. It might be the first page, and it might be the second page for now. And homework will get the homework in a moment. All right, here we go. Uh, who are we up to? Okay, uh, Luke, we're doing um, we're doing everything with fractions today. So I hope you guys love fractions. I'm going to, again, the test is going to be Tuesday, if you remember. There will be no calculators. You won't even get practice up in your fraction skills are they, yet. Both, are they like integers and fractions? everything. Integers, fractions, and tomorrow, too. Okay, when we three things. Okay. So again, we're doing everything with fractions like today, Luke. I'm going to start with lowest terms. What does lowest terms mean? Do you remember? Uh, so I can do this against the yeah. instead of like 50 and 100, it's going to be like. Yeah, okay. So we're going to say um, to make fraction in most terms. Um, just. Divide the numerator and denominator. Someone in the room got numerator and denominator um, by factors by usually prime numbers. So those numbers you're going to try and divide by are this. Okay. Those are the numbers you're going to normally try and divide by. Now, before you say, Mr. Sather, 10 is not prime. So what a prime number is, again, if you remember, is something that can only be divided by itself. And 1, I guess. So 2 is only 1 times 2. 3 is 1 times 3. 5 is 1 times 5. 7 is 1 times 7. And so on. 10 is 2 times 5, though. Why would I try and why would I include 10 by something to bring something to those terms? Just for everybody here. Why is 10 listed on that? For a hundred. Yeah, right? Just so I get the end and the zero and the 10 is like the easiest thing to right if, if it ends in a zero, just go for zero. Okay. We'll get they can pass up with, yeah. But that's right on. Okay. So let's do a few examples here. Um 
Okay, I'm gonna do the first one with you, and then you guys are gonna try yourselves on the rest, okay? Okay, 18 out of 20. Okay. So this one's straightforward, it should be. First of all, if uh, uh, Helena, when you see this one here, what does it instantly can it be divided by and why? because they're both um, even. Yeah, right on. As soon as you see even numbers, you say, well, I can bring that down, right? Okay, so they can divide by two. You can do this any way you want. Because it's our first second day, I'm just going to do this. You don't have to write that if you want to. You can still write 9 over 10. Okay. So what I did for those that are sitting there quietly in the front or the back, and say, I don't know what just happened there. To bring the lowest terms, they can both be divided by 2 because they're even. 18 divided by 2 is 9, right? And then 20 divided by 2 is 10. Both the numerator and denominator both need to be divided. There is a student, I don't want to call him a jerk. Yeah, I'm going to call him a jerk. He decided to use decimals in his fractions. Don't use decimals in his fractions. I'm going to take off the mark because it's not necessary. Like he would call this 0 0.9 over 1 or 0.45 over 0.5. He'd be weird like that. Don't do that, please, okay? It's a nightmare. If you're saying I want to do that, Wait till grade 10, okay? <laughs> Don't do it in grade 9, okay? All right. Didn't say jerks. I say students are jerks. I'm sorry. I, so. I take that back. But he was fine. All right. Here's another one here. I want you guys to try this one yourselves here. Okay? 125 over 100. You can go right to the answer in one step. That's fine. If you need to do it in two steps, that's fine too. I'm going to do it in two steps on the board, so if you do it in one step, that's fine. So you got to think of what 125 and 100 will both divide by. Now, the two, definitely not, okay, because they're not both even. So look at some of the other numbers that are on there. Okay, I'll click on Sage here. Do you have any idea? What did 125 and 100 both divide by? Five. Sorry? Five. Yeah, five, right? And again, whenever there's a five and a zero, they divide by five. Two's not going to work, three's not going to work. You just go right along the line, right? Two, three, five, seven, you know, and you go right along the line. So I'm going to divide by five. That should be 25 over 20. Okay. So here we go. I'm sorry, Owen. Are we done? No. Sorry, Owen. Are we Owen? Both Owens. Either Owen is done. How do I know we're not done? What can we still do, Owen? Over here. Good. Well, what can we divide them both by? Hold on. Try again. And that's okay, right? So the 5 and the 0 means you divide by 5, right? So that's okay, we'll divide by 5 again. Please note in high school, or you leave things in improper fractions, there are no mixed numbers. Okay? You use things in improper fractions only. Never one and one quarter. You can, it's not wrong, I'll still mark it right, but it's more, it's better to use the 5 and 4. Did anyone go in one step, right, to five fourths? Anyone here? What'd you divide by? Go ahead, what'd you divide by? I didn't divide it, I just, uh, it's an improper fraction because it's one whole already, so it's 31 times, it's 125 over 100, so, and it has a quarter or more. Yeah. So I already did that. Yeah. So what do you can think of here, and what'd you use? You use the same reason? Wait. Right? Think like quarters in your wallet, right? Yeah. You know what I mean? Four quarters makes a dollar. Five quarters makes a buck a quarter. So you use simple money, right? So you divide by 25 there right away. And the funny part is here, if you take a look, five times five, 25, right? So two steps are one step, it doesn't really make a difference. Okay? Sort of good? Mostly? Order of your minds yet? Perfect? All right, good. All right, awesome. Okay. I'm going to give you about 30 seconds to try this one. I'm going to pick on somebody. 9 divided by 30.
working on Reese momentarily. You know, someone always asks me, Mr. Sadler, if I give you an answer of 2 over 4, is that wrong? It's not wrong, but you will lose half a mark on your test. Okay? Um, you always want the simplest in life. Okay? And if you don't believe me, I will give you any question I give you. That's what math is. It's taking something complicated and making it simple, right? So we want to make things as simple as possible. Okay? All right. I said Reese. Reese, is that right? Reese, uh, what did you divide by for this one? Divide by three. Awesome. So again, you look at nine, and you think, well, nine divided by three, three and three, right? So you got to check if three works for 30, and it does, so you're good. All right, this is my favorite one of the day. So what I'm going to do here, not my favorite one of the day, more good questions here. I'm going to put a star beside question. So I'm okay to guess what a star beside question means. Not the hardest one. Probably one of my personal favorites, so. Important. Important one. It's probably a good one to know before you go through your test. It's probably a good idea to look at that note again to make sure that you remember that one. It's probably got it up on your test or something like it, okay? It's one of the A question like this, you're probably going to see on your test. With no calculator. Okay? With no calculator. Now, before you say, oh my goodness, Mr. Sellers, I can't do that. You can do that. When you look at that question, there should be one trigger to do instantly on your first step. Sorry, I'm... Amelia, what's the first thing you instantly think you can do on that right away? I don't know. You can't divide by two. I was going to think of something else. Take yeah, take away the zero, right? So we're just going to divide by 100, and we'll divide by two after. So we'll divide by 100. You can write divide by 100 if you're still up for zeros. So you get 24 and 36. So that's one zero we did that, right? When there's two zeros or one zero or a hundred zeros, you can just cross this out and on to the same top and bottom. Okay? Um, sorry. Jessica? What do we divide by now, please? Two. Two. Two sounds good to me. Not to be 12 over 18. Okay? Um, sorry, my mind's gone. Laura, and are we done? Very good. Let's keep going. Okay. Nadja, are we done? Awesome, right? So this is the key point to this question. A few key points to this question. So that's uh, with a two over three. Now, I've got someone in the back. Let's call him Tyson. They can say, well, Mr. Saddle, I see it's two-thirds right away, okay? And if you see it's two-thirds right away, that's fine. If you don't, there are most people in this class, what they do is they divide it by one thing, then they stop. Okay, right? You can keep going, right? That's the key thing I want to show in this question, okay? That might, because I guarantee on the test I'll do one that's very difficult to find. It's not impossible to find right away, but it's very difficult to find right away, okay? So you may have to do it two or three times. Okay, make sense? Everyone sort of get what I'm saying? I'm going to pause in the video and take a breather, and uh, then we'll come back in a sec.